Let's write a C program to print a right angled triangle formed with capital letter English alphabets. So if the user enters number of rows as 5, then a right angled triangle with 5 rows of capital letter English alphabets will be printed. So observe here, the first row has one element, the second row has two elements that is B and C, the third row has three elements that is D, E and F, and the fourth row has four elements and the fifth row has five elements and so on. So what we can conclude is the row number is always equal to the number of elements present in that row. So keep this logic in mind. We will be using this same logic in our nested for loop. Okay, let's get started with our C program. I'll take integer variables, num, row and column and count. I'll assign 65 to count. Why 65? Because 65 is the ASCII value of capital letter A. Now I'll ask the user to enter the number of rows for our triangle. And let me store that inside the address of integer variable num. So now let's write the for loop. So observe here for row. This outer for loop selects the row. That's it. So this for loop executes until row is less than or equal to user enter number. That is the number of rows the user wants. Okay. So inner for loop column, the printing of alphabet start from first position. And observe here, this inner for loop executes until column is less than or equal to row because row number has the number of elements to be printed in that row. Okay, so inner for loop actually prints the alphabets. Yeah, I leave two spaces here, comma, count plus plus. So this prints the alphabets A, B, C, D, and so on. Okay, so let me input a new line character after each. Um, row elements has been printed for new row a new line character has to be inserted okay so let me compile this and execute it I'll give number of rows as 5 till here everything works fine A B C D up to O we have 5 rows of English alphabets but what if I give 10 rows of it so it exceeds the after Z also it keeps printing so let's fix that. So let me come here inside inner loop, inner for loop. So if count is equal to 91, 91 means capital letter Z, Z. So in that case, I'll initialize the count value back to 65, which is capital letter A. So this fixes our issue. So let me compile this and let me give 10 rows now once again. So after printing from A to Z, it starts from A once again. After Z, it starts from A once again. So this is how we print right angled triangle formed with capital letter English alphabets. Okay. Please follow the link present in the description section of this YouTube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic. Please stay subscribed to our YouTube channel and blog. Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.